What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how we can create a menu with many options in SwiftUI and it's going to look like this. So as you can see in this preview window, if we click on settings, it's going to open up this very nice window with some icons and also some actions. And you can also put a nested menu inside this menu in case you want to add some more actions. And you can place as many as you like with whatever kind of icons you want. And if you click on something, it should trigger the function you want it to trigger. Otherwise, you can always go ahead and click on cancel and it's going to cancel the whole menu. So this is actually a very simple menu that you can create in SwiftUI. So let's go ahead and get started immediately by holding down Shift Command plus N to create a new project. We will click on app and click on next. <clears throat> then we can call this menu project and we will use SwiftUI as the interface and Swift as the language. Then go ahead and click on next. Choose a project location for your project and click on create. And the first thing we want to do inside here is close both of the sidebars and change it to an iPhone 13. Then we will click on resume just to make sure that everything's working correctly. Now to get started, we're going to go ahead and replace this with a menu. And inside here, the first button we want to trigger is the cancel button. So we'll go ahead and create a button and we'll give it the text of cancel with a rule of dot destructive. Then we should go ahead and create a block and we want to insert our logic inside here, but I'm just going to be inserting a comment for now. And we're still going to have an error because for the menu, we need to describe a title essentially, something like that. But on top of this, since we are using the destructive rule, it's going to ask us to use iOS 15. And to fix this very quickly, we're going to go to our menu project and then go ahead to build settings and change it to iOS 15. Now we can go ahead and close this part and continue with the project. So what you should get is something like that, that says title. If we go ahead and run the program, you'll notice that we will get an option that says cancel but we want much more than that. And we also want an icon for our title link. So to achieve this, first we're going to remove the title from the menu, stop the live preview, and we're going to provide a label. So here we can just go ahead and type in label, which is going to equal a label of whatever you want. This is the title name. I'm just going to say settings with a system image of gear shape dot fill. And these are the icons that are provided by Xcode. You can actually find them online. They're called SF symbols. And if you actually download the program, you will get something like this. So you can search for whatever icons you want. It can be a bolt car, and it's going to give you the icon name over here. So once you have this program, of course, you can play around with all the icons and place whichever one you want to place. But that's exactly where I get the icons from. So the next thing we're going to do is insert a nested menu. And to do this, you just type in menu and insert the buttons that you want to insert just like we did in the first menu. So you just insert a menu inside a menu if you want to have a nested menu. Then we can go ahead and place this down inside here. Then we just need to remove this part right here and provide a label instead. So label, we can go ahead and take this label down here. And instead we're going to type in report followed by a flag dot fill and this menu also needs a label so go ahead and copy that label and place it under the menu and call this one other and for the text we'll just type in question mark dot circle now if we run the program we can click on settings and it's going to give us one other option that when we click on it will trigger the report button. And it's the same process for all the other buttons you want to add. So if you want to add one more button, go ahead and add it, add the functionality, such as do something, and provide a label if you want to have also an icon next to the text. So inside here, label, followed by download with a system image. And this one's actually very long, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in. It says, tray and arrow down dot fill. And just to finish this, I'm going to paste one more button under that. So as you can see, it's that simple to add more buttons with more functionalities. And if we go ahead and click on this, you're going to notice all of the buttons appear on the screen and they can all do separate functions depending on what you want them to do. 
So it's actually something very simple that can make your app look very professional. And I've also left the source code in the description down below in case you are curious. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.